did Lelouch die at the end of Code Geass? Well, yes and no. In final turn RE, Suzaku stabbed Lelouch as the final phase of the Zero Requiem. Lelouch takes the time to look back upon his life before seemingly meeting his end in the sight of the entire world. So it appeared that Lelouch had died, but in the last scene, C2 says this. I said that Gios was the power of the king which would condemn you to a life of solitude. I think maybe that's not quite correct. Right, Lelouch? Fans then theorized that perhaps Lelouch could still be alive and was hiding in disguise as the carriage driver. It is possible that Lelouch could still be alive due to taking Charles' code, but this is a topic for another day and I won't delve into the details of that now. Let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to talk about the code plus Gias theory in a future video. Among the confusion, the creators clarified Lelouch's fate in several interviews. Here is an excerpt from the November 2008 edition of the Japanese magazine Animage. So you accept the end of the show? I think that before he reached the final scene, Lelouch had many possibilities to choose from, but he understood very well what he had done and had to pay the price for that. Suzaku chose to live as Zero and was awarded the opportunity to pay for his sins by this choice. And Lelouch got his salvation by choosing not the happiness of living on, but to sacrifice his own life to create the situation for the world to move forward. If you think about his character, I don't think he would still be himself if he chose another end. There are also tweets from one of the series creators, Ichiro Okauchi, confirming that they had always planned on killing Lelouch at the end of the series. In the official guidebook, you have excerpts like this one. In the end, Nully isn't even allowed to bear her brother's sins. Until right before her brother dies, she seems to want to hate him for that. Upon realizing the truth behind her brother's actions, Nully clings to her brother's corpse and wails. And then she succeeds her brother's will and starts walking together with Zai who has become Zero, down the road as a ruler who creates peace. Because that alone is the one and only thing she can do for her brother. Lastly, Sunrise released a summary film for R2 in 2008 with one alteration from the original anime. There is a new end credit sequence that undeniably proves that Lelouch did indeed meet his end at the climax of the Zero Requiem. This replaced the cart driver scene from the original anime. As C2 says during the end credits of the film, a young man dies. He's got power to change the world and build up a new order. The world was scared of him and hated him, but I know he passed away with a smile. In 2019, Goro Taniguchi gave an interview to my anime list that somewhat contradicts my previously stated points. To add, we wanted to make it unclear in the TV series whether Lelouch was alive or dead to have it be a point of intrigue for our audience. We tried to leave it very vague, but people eventually decided that Lelouch was definitely dead. That wasn't our intention, so we had to come back and clarify. But based on earlier interviews, the creators stated that it was decided that Lelouch was going to die at the end of the series. So what did he mean by wanting to keep it vague? And the people didn't decide that Lelouch was dead, since they're the ones that came up with the various theories of how he survived. That's why the creators had to clarify what happened in the interviews following the end of the series. It seems like there's a contradiction between what Ichiro and Goro's opinions are on the ending. But since the majority of what I read is confirmation from the creators that Lush did die at the end of the original anime, that's what I'm going with. It's possible Goro only said those things to bring hype for the upcoming film. Nonetheless, this topic does not finish here since we've only discussed the original timeline. There are two more. The alternative anime timeline, previously known as the Filmverse, which has now been altered with the announcement of Z Recapture. A show that we have no information on and might have been secretly cancelled. And the other timeline is the manga timeline. In the alternative anime universe, Lelouch doesn't die at the end. Instead, he inherited Charles' code, but still has a Gios, which means something went wrong, since normally inheriting a code replaces the Gios power. After Lelouch was seemingly killed, Shirley and Jeremiah worked together to retrieve his body. Since Lelouch had killed the god of Sea's world, the reconstruction process failed, resulting in his mind going missing in Sea's world. At least that's how I interpret what C2 said. So the Lelouch we see here is just an empty husk, the measly remains of what he once was. At the Aramu gate, C2 was able to restore Lelouch's mind, leading to his resurrection. Lelouch isn't an immortal at this point like C2, 
and instead is considered a failed one. A failed one is someone who didn't properly inherit a code, a concept introduced in the manga Renya of Darkness. If you want to learn more about Renya of Darkness, I went over that manga in this video. This explains his new powers, or why Gias still affects him, despite having a code. Lelouch hinted that he might not be around for much longer, suggesting that his resurrection might not be permanent. But in the picture drama for this film, 10 years has passed and Lelouch is still here with C2 going after the Gia shards now named L2. Moving on, the manga timeline follows the same route as the alternative anime timeline with some key differences. At the end of Lelouch Other Billion RE, Lelouch's mind is shown to be imprisoned in C's world. C2 alters her explanation of what happened in the manga version of that same scene from the film. She states, Right, any Gias user whose power has matured can inherit a code, and those who inherit a code become immortal in exchange for losing their Gias powers. But Lelouch continues his Gias even after that. Whatever was wrong with his code, it persisted through the Zero Requiem. He most certainly died after being run through the heart, but his wounds closed up and his heart began beating again. It's just his spirit that is still missing. Jeremiah was at least able to secure a safe place near his hometown to intern Lelouch's body until its regeneration. And I went into C's world to try and reconstruct him. And the rest of her explanation follows the film. The part that confuses me is when did Lelouch lose his mind? Was it after his death or after they attempted to reconstruct him? The film makes it seem like it was after they reconstructed him, but the manga suggests it was immediately after he died. Another change in the manga is that Shirley died, so she doesn't help Jeremiah retrieve Lelouch's body. Instead, she helps Lelouch reclaim his mind in C's world with both Rollo and Euphemia. So, did Lelouch die in the original timeline? Well, according to most sources, yes, despite all the fan theories. But in alternative timelines, he lived. Now, some fans are angry that Lelouch was resurrected at all, and I get that. In many ways, it goes against the things Lelouch stood for. As Ichiro said in an interview, there are probably lots of people who think of it as a bad end, a tragedy considering the protagonist Lelouch's end as well. However, Lelouch says in the first episode, only those prepared to be shot are allowed to pull the trigger themselves. If you were to think of that as his pride, then I think his getting shot in the end was a logical end. Of course, I understand that not all the viewers will accept this ending. There were people who want a happier ending after all. But since it's an alternative timeline, it doesn't retcon the original story. Let me know in the comment section if you believe Lelouch died or lived at the end of Code Geass. If you want more videos on Code Geass and anime like this, be sure to subscribe. If you're interested in diving into the extended universe of Code Geass, then check out this video right here where I go over the manga read order for Code Geass.